Hi. In our previous video, we learned that you can modernize your legacy workflow management and data orchestration pipelines in Google Cloud. Today, we'll dive a little deeper in one such use case on how TechIllusions, one of our technology partners, migrated an Odysseus workload to Cloud Composer and helped unlock technology and cost benefits for one of our customers. Let's welcome Tim, who's the Chief Technology Officer at TechIllusions. Thanks for having me here today. So Tim, tell us more about what you're going to share with our audience today. Sure, I would love to. For the agenda today, I'm going to share the customer challenges, the migration strategy, I will walk you through a reference architecture, and then we'll go over the lessons learned. Amazing. Could you share with us what were some challenges that they were running into? Like a lot of customers, they have thousands of jobs that do complex tasks and are being run in old legacy on-prem environments. The systems are expensive from both the licensing and support perspective, and the jobs are typically mission critical for the business. This presents a major challenge for the business as the job complexity grows and scalability becomes a real problem. Couple this with the fact that there are no clear modernization paths from the cloud for these legacy systems and our customers are stuck. That having an option like Cloud Composer presents a relatively easy path to the cloud. Hmm. With such a huge workload, how did you go about with the migration? Since no one had ever done this before, we first needed to calculate the ROI. Uh, you know, i.e. future spend versus what they're currently spending on the support and the licenses. This yielded about a 45% cost saving compared to the, the uh, current costs. There are way too many autosys jobs to be migrated manually, so we needed an automated process for this. And, and that really was the magic behind this. We built out an application that would handle the conversion process. And when we started to boil this down, uh, we started to see some patterns uh, that we could repeat. These patterns were the basis to which we started to migrate the jobs over. Once we were able to convert a few jobs, we started to gain some confidence in the automation and unleashed it onto the bulk of the jobs. The last remaining piece were the integration touch points and quality testing. These last two steps were manual, but had to be done manually just to make sure that the tools were solving the problems that we brought them to do. Could you also share with us a reference architecture on how it would look on Google Cloud? Yes, definitely. This architecture assumes that we've already converted the jobs into DAG files and that they're already stored in a Google Cloud storage bucket. We have a schedule here that will operate on some frequency, depending on the job, and for every job will spawn an operator and a sensor. The operator will fire and forget the job, while the sensor will track the status of the job completion. The state of how the job is performing is stored in the SQLA database, and the custom agent will do the job that was defined in the DAG file. For every job type, we have a utility script that will operate its job function and most likely call out to different integration points, things like SSL and ODBC database calls. Wow. With all these migration efforts, could you also share with us why should customers think of moving to Cloud Composer and what are some benefits that they can unlock? When considering cl Cloud Composer, things like ease of use and integration are always major considerations since time is money with workflow automation across different industries. Cloud Composer has a clear advantage over less legacy technologies because one, it's easy to learn and it's managed service, so which means it's constantly being updated and run for you. You've got a lot more flexibility in how you do alerting and when a problem occurs, since you have that flexibility, you can easily identify where it is. You can have a much smaller support team regardless of the size of the environment which runs Cloud Composer. Second, scalability and integration are a major point of the Cloud Composer as there are a ton of out-of-the-box out of capabilities that work with Cloud Composer. With far more integration tools through Airflow, you can customize your data pipelines as you need them. And finally, cost. Legacy tools like Autosys require expensive licensing and specific engin engineers to handle the support. Running in a managed service like Cloud Composer frees you the burden of supporting the infrastructure and you're only paying for the consumption that you're using for your jobs. Costs become even higher when you need to replace your Autosys experts. The pool of Jill experts is dwindling and fewer young programmers are learning it. You know, that puts the remaining experts in a higher demand, which means higher salaries, if you can even find them in the first place. Thanks, Tim. That was so helpful. Thank you for walking us through this sample use case. You too can modernize your legacy workloads to Google Cloud. Head to cloud.google.com to learn more. Don't forget to subscribe for more such Google Cloud content. Thanks for watching. Thank you.